this video I'm going to um, show you how I produce this um, card to go in my botanical journal. So it's um, a pressed flower from my garden and it's mounted on fabric and then um, with layers. So I may put it on another piece of card but I think I might just stick it straight into my journal like this. But I'll show you how I um, got to this stage. Okay, so I'm going to start by using some lavender that I've pressed and I want to put it on this fabric first. So first of all I'm going to put some PVA glue on my fabric. I'll just get that one second. Okay, this is um, just straight PVA glue. So I'm going to put this all over the fabric. This is just a, uh, a remnant, a sort of, but it's quite a nice beige colour to bring out the purple from the lavender. So this will just stiffen up the fabric. So I'm going to lay the... I've got to decide how I have it before I lay it down because once it's down So I think I'll have that one there. That one doesn't want to go that way. It was a bit of a fiddle. Now I'm going to leave it like that for the moment. Let that dry. And then I'm going to put uh, a clear sort of white napkin over the top with some PVA glue. So I'll, I'll come back when I'm about to do that. Okay, I, I transferred it to some wax paper because um, I hadn't thought it through and the glue was coming through so this is going to be the easiest paper to take it off. So they're not quite stuck there so I'm going to, but I'm going to go ahead and do the decoupage. So I've got my napkin. I said before you could use coloured paper, um, you know, with writing on or whatever. But for this purpose, I'm just going to use the plain white. So try and smooth it on, and then I've got the PVA and water.
nice soft brush and then you can dab around easily to remove the air bubbles because it's sort of impossible to get rid of them afterwards Okay, well the cleaning has done its work, so um, it's, the lavender is nicely sealed on the fabric. I'm just going to take it off the wax paper. And I don't have to take it off entirely because I'm going to stick it to a card, but see what I can get off. Okay, that's that. And then the tissue I'll just peel off around the edges. And I like to sort of fray it a little bit. And then I'll probably go around the edge with a with some ink just to give it a bit of definition. Now, quite nicely fixed on here, so it should last some years, I should think. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over with a little felt tip pen just to highlight some of the colours just to bring them out a little bit more um, just to give it a bit more definition. So that's going to take a couple of minutes on this one. I'll just go over the lavender a little bit just to bring it out. So I'll do that off camera and then I'll find a nice card to put this on and to layer it up. I'm really happy with the way it's turned out. That's lovely. Okay, I'll be back shortly. So I'm going to use my master board that I made well, ages ago now and uh, I thought I would make some cards to go in my new journal and I'm going to place some this pressed flower, it's a Montbrisha, um, on that side and I'm going to use a feather I found in the garden and pop it on that side with the bird and I'm going to use the um, use a napkin to um, place over the top and uh, decoupage these pieces in place and then I'll be able to trim the cards um, so they should look quite nice in the Atlas Botanica. So, it's quite a simple process, hopefully, says she. I'm just going to use a napkin. Place it over the top here.
and it's just one ply there and I've just got a mixture of um, PVA glue and water so here we go I did this master board um, collage some time ago and uh, I've been waiting for an opportunity to use it You've got to go rather gently. I've got a soft brush here. So I'll carry on doing that. I'm just going to do this area and this one and then I'll come back when they've dried and uh, show you how I'm going to finish them off. Okay, bye for now. Okay, well lots of these things are trial and error, aren't they, with our crafting. And I didn't like the way the um, these cards looked with the whole piece covered with the napkin even though it came it came through of the bits left here um, it because the backgrounds quite pale it um, it just didn't look right so I've taken most of it off there's still some on the feather there and um, on on the leaf I've added some washi tape I'm going to add I've taken some little bits out of um, books and I'm just going to add those and another one on there this one worked out really well it's uh, the, the napkin hasn't um, taken the colour away at all of the lavender so I'm quite pleased with that one so now what I'm going to do I'm going to back them with some card stock so I've got this one probably going to put on here um, cut around there and glue that down just to give it um, another dimension um, the lavender I'm going to use some lavender coloured cardstock and I may put some lace on first and then cut around there I'm going to see what that looks like first when I cut it down this one I'm going to use this to bring out the orange in the Montbrisha so I'll cut that out. Okay, just to conclude um, this video, I've mounted the um, the lavender on this piece of card. So I'm very pleased with that. I'm probably going to just um, have that in the journal on a page I'm not absolutely sure yet I might round the ed ends but I've been tidying up and I can't find my um, corner cutter <laughs> so that's that one um, the other the feather card I've actually popped on the inside cover of the 
uh, botanical journal that I've been working on. So I'm very pleased with that one. So that's like a specimen card at the end of the journal. Um, this one you've seen, but I'm not sure. I'll probably put that one on a page as well. And then I've mounted this one onto the orange card. So again, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I might make a folio with that one because it's going to be a bit big for the um, botanical journal um, which I'm working on so um, I mean I could actually pop that one on the on there I'm gonna have a little think about about those but um, I'm very pleased with them got some nice specimen cards and uh, using the napkin has worked out very well. It's covered the feather there. The mombrisha kept it in place. And this lovely daisy. So, all in all, I'm um, pleased with the outcome. So I'll be back. I'm going to do some decorating of the pages in the journal. I'll be back to show you how I'm getting on with that. Hope you've enjoyed that. Take care everyone. Bye for now.